Mm. I'm going to yawn. Now you've started live. I'm going to yawn. <sighs> hey, Sam. Dude, it's Sam. Hope you're well, my lovely. Hello, Gillian, Stephen, Jane. Hope everybody is well. Yeah, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, hello, Olivia. hello, Olivia. She's here. Hope you're well, my lovelies. How's the day been going for you guys? Hope you've all had a good day. Evening, hey, Wayne. Wayne. Thank you for sharing, my lovely. Evening, Paul, Scotty. Hope everybody is well. Thank you for sharing, Shazia. Uh, evening, Lisa. Evening, evening, Sam. How are we all? Well, I'm tired. <laughs> so I am absolutely. Andy. Hello, Andy, Julie, Lady Dank, Bewitched, Andy, Leah, Mick. Mick. Hello, hello. Evening, Penny. How are you, my lovely lady? uh yeah i know I'm, I'm absolutely shattered i've been uh you can i've just woke not woken up long ago that's why we had to change it to half past eight because i sort of like passed out in my chair um olivia good thank you you both well yes no uh no it's chit chat tuesday paul so um we always do a chit chat tuesday we didn't do one last week last week but every other week we've done a chit chat tuesday um plus it's actually raining, so it's not good. Evening, Sunday. Craig, hello. Stephen, James, hello, my lovely. Um, yes, we're both well. Thank you very much for everybody asking. A uh, little bit tired. Evening, Simon. So last night we joined um, Tony, and Paul. Tony and Paul on PT, PT. Paranormal. Um, evening, Yvonne, my lovely lady. Um, do you know really enjoyed chatting yeah, well, well, well chatting i don't think i took a breath no you didn't um, nobody else chatted you just yeah talked. i just talked as normal evening vanessa louis hello my love michelle that's why they didn't um, bring you on for the first 15 minutes how's your minutes? banners going paul loving the banners that you've done for us and uh thank you so much uh we did give you that shout out on the uh, his facebook page and i'm i can't remember whether we did say i don't think we've been live live since have we to uh, say a big thank you to you paul no. but no Paul's the guy to go to for banners, really is. Um, but yeah, so loving the banners. Uh, John, it was nice to chat. It were nice to chat, Stephen. Nice to put your face to your name as well. Uh, enjoyed his chat the other day. Uh, and you get green in the name. And who you get green in the name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Paul. You'll have to. Uh, did you change anything? Did you change your colour on it or no. anything? No. I don't know. You have to message me, Paul. Uh, something wrong with my keyboard on phone. Typing is annoying. Keyboard keeps disappearing. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, no. Uh, hey, Joe, Mike. Hey, Joe. Loana. Uh, hello, my lovely. Hey, James. James. Exploring, and exploring the afterlife. The afterlife. Oh. Now, I can't decide whether that's Karen. No, Ka Carol. Joanne. Gemma. Kimmer. Oh, Kimmer. <laughs> it's me, oh, Joe. It's me, Joe. <laughs> Even PXTV, SMG, SMG fakes, new. 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 New channel. Um, Lindsay, my mum and I had a shared experience last night. A man a couple of doors down passed away. Oh, I know, I uh, saw that on Facebook. Or did she post it on Facebook? I've been on and off Facebook um, today. I've not really been. Um, I've only been going on to like anger, uh, anger, po anger post, hang post up. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Eldest daughter got rushed into hospital yesterday. Uh, she is due to have a baby in seventeen days, six to fifteen days. Well, do you mean the, do you mean green on um, banner? Do we get green on banner? Evening, oh, world of chaos. Uh, yes, please. Mm. Uh, pop it in chat, my lovely. We can read it out. Um, there you go. It's me now. Oh, Joanne, you don't have to change. You can stay as ETA, my lovely. Stay as ETA. It's not a problem. It don't make no difference what you are. As long as you're on, it doesn't matter. Uh, but, yeah, so nice, um, nice one of my daughters it. got took into hospital yesterday. 
Um, I did a lot of pain and she's due a baby on the 24th. So uh, luckily, it's staying put at the minute. Um, but uh, I'll keep you updated as we go. But she's at home now. So uh, that's a good thing. Uh, so we've had to have the grandson with us today, mm. which I'm right enjoyed that with him. But yeah, last night, what about the, what's your take on some of them video clips uh, that we showed? I don't know how to put them back up on our computer. So that one, that's what we're on about, is the banner that Paul designed for us. He just sent me a photo. Has he sent you a photo at the same one? Wait, names. Oh, they're members, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, the members on YouTube, Paul. Um, you have to join uh, YouTube. It's 99p a month uh, for membership. Um, and we do extra footage. And um, I'll, I'll go on and do tarot cards every so often. Um, going to start doing some chit chats and some other kind of things on there. So you're going to get a mixture of stuff for the 99p. Uh, but 99p was the lowest that we could charge that, that there was to charge. Um, so we just set it to lowest one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Paul, that's how they get the green names, my lovely. What you mentioned, um, Banner. It's great. Paul, hope everything goes okay. Glad I know Yvonne, do you know she has me on edge of my seat through pregnancy? Um, but she jokes because she's evening hey, Donald Donald and Joanne. Uh, Donald and Joanne. That's what I said. I didn't. I didn't. Evening Jane. Um, so yeah, so uh, I forgot what I was saying now, but yeah, she's home and she's okay. Um, but she's been pregnant for 18 months, <laughs> longest pregnancy. Uh, Fletcher's nine months. Well, now. technically, she has been pregnant she, for 18 she, months, she she had Fletcher, and then she got caught straight, caught straight after, away. Yeah, uh, so yeah, did anybody see the clips that we uh shared on what um. Paul and Tony shared last night of the things that we've captured on some of the investigations we've been out. Um, if not, I will post them into the group if I hadn't already posted them in there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, some of them clips were. Uh, what do you think of that orb, that rod, or whatever it is? Elements do 18 months. Do exactly, bewitched. Exactly. Not elements. <laughs> I said elephant. Do you know he's picking me up on how I'm talking here? I'm going to punch him in a minute. Uh, evening, Miss Jenna Goodwin. Hope you're well. Uh, Mrs. Sorry. Um, God, do you know? I'm going to I am gonna, I'm just going to smack him on. Uh, did you see Come Ghost With Me? What I shared, Lindsay and John. The branch was amazing. Um, I don't think I have, Joanne. Have you shared it on page? Because if you have, I'll uh, pop onto page and have a look, my lovely. Um, or have you shared it in yours? Uh, but yeah, it's uh, some of them clips. I mean, that orb or whatever it was, the rod. Um, when you think about it, the the bug that if, if it was a bug, um, I'm gonna just see if I can get it up on my phone. Um, I don't see it very well on that. No, they might not on this one. Um, let me see. So just bear with me a sec. There's no volume on it. I've turned volume down. And I'm only going to do it when it goes across the screen. That, that's once. amazing, that. <laughs> just bear with There you there go. Goes, there you go. So now there has been people saying it's a bug, it's a butterfly. Moth gate. But, yeah, uh, I watched and that rod thing looked amazing. Yeah. Um, because again, like it were right, what Tony said, there's no bug in UK that you could think of that, that shaped. is shaped like that. Um, paranormal hunter, oh, evening paranormal hunters, and it's he's sneaking. Then it's only because Scotty put it, I did I missed them. You didn't catch him either, do you know? Hey, Bill. Uh, evening, Bill, hope you're well, my yeah, love. Like, well. uh, yeah, so it is just a chit chat if anybody's got any questions. Please pop it in, in, uh, in chat and we can uh, answer. Missed last night as I was out myself, but people arrived on site, which is really annoying. I was fed up after driving 20 miles. Do you know, we've you know, had we that lately. That, Sam? We had that at Spofforth Castle. Yeah. Um, and then Sunday night, we was going to go out Sunday night, but Simon again. Didn't. Didn't. Because he, he, he got that drunk Saturday night, that Sunday afternoon he went out of sleep and didn't get up. Evening, Mary. So, 
Sunday night where we were going, um, I just happened later on just to to looking through Facebook and some but another team was at that location. Yeah, that we, so we luckily, we, we, luckily we didn't so, go. Uh, we will go again in a couple of weeks, though. But it's, it's just um, I, I've never I've never known it. Like it's everywhere we go, there's always there's, another team there. Yeah, yeah, bumping into a lot of teams. Um, I mean, somebody actually messaged me and said, "Don't we have like a team chat on where people are going to be?" So nobody actually goes to that location um but we don't actually do that i don't think there is anything like that that you'd go no, on you couldn't um you, you couldn't do it anyway because that no. means everyone has to put on we're going here tonight we're going here tonight yeah. and then the thing is i suppose if it, i mean if the decent paranormal teams and people turn up then they should be accepting and willing yeah, to. It shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. Depending on size of location, if it's only one room, small location, yeah. two or three teams turn up, then you've got yeah. a problem. I mean, when we went to, if I, I would, if you, you guys check out the video from last night's hunt, can you send it me, uh, Olivia, my lovely? Can you message me and send it me? Uh, my mum knew the people living there. The husband was suffering from terminal cancer and he had gone in. Oh, bless. Blink of, oh, bless Amy. I'm so sorry. Um, don't think it's safe, to be fair. No, I do, yeah, Yvonne, it's not safe to, um, it's not. That was a weird one. I snapshot it and tried different photo shots and still came up as no. Yes, Stephen, yeah. Um, and I know um, Tony said that he'd actually run that one through so many mm. different programmes. I mean, Tony's been at this a lot longer than us. Um, and Paul has, but I think yeah. Paul's medium, yeah. um, but also uh, no paranormal. Worries, Carol. Hope you're okay. uh, like don't worry, Carol, my lovely lady. Hope you're okay. Wait, um, oh, none of them are on here, are they? No, no, um, can't wait to get my test on 27th. I need to check now. Just What's test cool. for, Paul? Is um, for his driving test, is all oh, right. Test. Oh, that's good. In our case, it was kids that, do you know, Sam, thing is when kids turn up, I mean, some, I mean, to be fair, all times we've gone out, if we've uh, bumped into kids, Hi, Rebecca. Um, even in Rebecca's, um, if we bump into um, kids or young, younger, young, the younger generation, majority of them have always been okay once they know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, we've never had them really be uh funny about it a lot of times some of them are quite interested in it so they sort sort of like do join in or follow you about or wait for you coming back round and then question what you've found uh but i suppose it's on the places that you actually go i mean round here um we have got some rough places haven't we yeah. um where it won't be safe to go so totally get it sam um hi deborah Oh, I'm glad, she, I'm glad his wife had somebody to uh, go over to uh, Amy. Evening, Sharon. Um, but, yeah, it's um, – Amy's just – if anybody's catching up on chat, Amy's just explaining something because her and her mum both had the same experience last night and one of their neighbours passed away. Um, so that's why Amy's commenting so we can see connection. Push, 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 um, but yeah, so we have got some plans coming up. We have got some indoor locations that we're going to be doing. We're, we, are, um, we are hoping to be out tomorrow night, or I'm hoping to be yeah, out tomorrow Yeah, but night. if you have actually have a look at the weather forecast. Yeah, but I'm looking for an indoor location. An indoor yeah. location, which we've got. But on the weather forecast for Sheffield... Well, I've just got to check. go and check this indoor location out tomorrow. We're going to have a drive across, aren't we? Mm. Um. But our 10-day forecast is 60% rain today, 50% tomorrow, 60% Thursday, and 50% Friday. And then it is sun shining all next week. Um, but like I said, we have got some indoor locations coming up. John's going to go and have a look at that one tomorrow and see if that's doable for tomorrow night. Um, Thursday, we'll let you know what's coming up Thursday. But Thursday... If it is bad rain, I will do tarot on uh, Facebook and YouTube together again. Um, so that might be Thursday. Friday, we are out with Joanne yeah. from Paranormal Explores. Paranormal Explores. Um, that's going to be an interesting location, that one we're going to. That one uh, is, an in it is indoors, I think. 
I'm not giving too, I'm not giving too much information away. Um, I have discussed that. I I I do all the planning, and then I tell John at last minute that you this is where we're planning, going. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you said really? when they rest you where we're going what do you normally say i don't know ask her yeah, that, yeah exactly see? Location, yeah that? see you know it's fine uh evening donna did you watch my live reading the other day uh, uh joanne i'm not sure i did watch don't think i have watched your live reading um joanne um send me link again and i shall re-watch evening rachel i know admit i watched it, joe i know i watched joe mark not, i'm not getting any notifications we're not anything. getting i don't know how everybody else is doing but notifications don't seem to be working i'm getting and notifications we've even, set them. even for uh like john john six cents i'm getting notifications next morning yeah but then when i click on it it takes me to a previous video not the video we did the night before and then it keeps coming back up i keep getting notified if you know what yeah I mean. So it's I don't know what's on. going off. Um, that's called good management, John. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, about four to my I popped my head out to check what was happening. That's me on Joe people. Mike. I'm on my phone upstairs. My Just Joe Mike. Hey, you did see Joe's oh, reading. Joe, Joe, why do you keep changing your bloody name? <laughs> it's because she's put a full name on. Oh. That I, I'm saying I ain't seen Joe because I didn't realise it was you. Now, do you know, you could have had a read, I could have done my tarot and I could have done you a reading and I wouldn't have known who the hell you were. Um, I would have just thought you that you were a new face, Joanne. So, uh, yeah, I did see your readings that you gave the other day. Really good, my lovely. Um, this one on time. Yeah, I got notification. I was just staring into space. <laughs> Welcome to our world. Um, I don't. Got, it's all right, comments of stood. I don't, I can't do it on here. I ate that. Hey, Amelia, I Evening, you well. Amelia. Hope, you hope you've Cornwall. not hurt yourself uh, after your antics today, my lovely. I've just read the messages. Uh, Say me and not getting notifications. Evening, James. Yeah, so we don't know we what's happening. Um, YouTube and Facebook, though, isn't it? It's, it's, not one it's all bad. Um, it's across all social media platforms. I don't know if they're going back. You know, like. When we first went into this lockdown, a lot did it from home. Yeah, they had to they, change. They changed their all systems over, and it all messed up for a while with everything, didn't yeah. it? I wonder if they're changing them back now. Well, that's what I've been saying to everybody for weeks, but it's like it's just a constant Ooh, thing Rebecca, with you're this. Back at work tomorrow. Oh, These are loads gone back to work, Bex. There's loads gone back to work. Evening, Donna. Um, oh. No, I'm fine. That's good, my lovely. Um, Right, Stephen. Um, but yeah, it, it's just it's just crazy. Um, but we are going to be booking back in to do Antwerp Mansion. Unfortunately, with the lockdown as it is at the minute, and because for safety reasons, um, with being around people, because I've got, problem for me is I've got to be careful up to I think it's twelve oh, to fourteen weeks oh, no. after what? Jordan's had baby. Because she's diabetic and because baby won't have had its first injections, I've got I'm very limited on who I can work with and um Eclair. where I'm working with. Uh have I missed someone? Eclair. <laughs> Eclair. What do you mean, Eclair? Is that still Joanne? <laughs> Only jokes, it's Rachel. No worries, Donna, my lovely. Uh, only jokes, it's Rachel. Do you know, Rachel, you're a numpty. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, I've got to be really careful in next. Well, she's due him on 24th, um, and then there's like 12 weeks after that. So, I do want to go back to Antwerp Mansion within that time frame, but we're just going to do it as a self um, and possibly with. Um, Six Sense team again, and Simon. Uh, we've got to speak to him and sort out whether uh, we're all going back together. I think Rachel's been on that wacky back I think she's been on wacky back here. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, but yeah, That's so Antwerp Mansion is definitely on the cards, and I'm hoping that when we do go back, we're going to book him for the overnight. Full night. Uh, for the full night. For the full night. It does, Joanne. No, you don't get a breakfast. You take your own. There's a microwave. Uh, you can buy them meal deals, can't Rustless. you? Can, yeah, Rustler's Burger for morning. Uh, so I have got to get in touch with John and um, Joe 
and see whether they're okay to stop over. Because the thing is, once you're in Antwerp Mansion, you can't leave till the time. Now, you can get out of the building for fire reasons, yeah. but the owners actually lock That's everything up. Pub so once we're in... Which pub's that? I, I saw care um, room last night here we're at, but I, I don't know which pub. Yeah, I think with the care room, though, Paul, you got John creaky knows... Tabby? John knows the owner no, it's a now. Different care, care oh, room, is it a I different think, yeah. care room? All oh, right, I know we won at care rooms. Um, I'm not sure whether they're only um, no, no, Friar letting Bewitch. John in or, or whatever. I don't know how that stands yet. Because uh, last time I spoke to John, were on Sunday. Partial to a Friar. Um, because I know they were down in Skeggy, weren't they? Uh, doing some locations down that way. So uh, yeah, it were uh, really good. Uh, if you're my eldest daughter, you could buy a microwavable kebab. Exactly, we could have a microwave kebab for breakfast. I've tried them. I don't the like them. Don't like the microwave kebabs. Um, so yes, so Antwerp Mansion, and then what we're going to do is afterwards, once I've done my twelve weeks isolation again uh, from from mixing in a large group, uh, we're going to look at Antwerp and see how many problem she's is, allowed to have us in there with. Problem is with that. Go on. You're not going to get twelve weeks in. What do you mean? We've got Ashbourne. Again, with Ashbourne, no, I might not have, but the thing is with Ashbourne, they've not confirmed it yet either. No, they haven't confirmed um, it. Ashbourne, we've got booked in for the 5th. So of, 5th or 3rd. No, it's 5th. 5th of September. We rebooked it for 5th of September. I have emailed the gentleman and he's got back to me, and at the moment they're still closed till further notice. But they are um, they're updating it every month. Th yeah, so, so he's we'll keeping us touch. Uh, he's keeping in touch, but if we don't get in September, I think they're on about shutting for the year um, and not opening up well next year. So if I, if anybody needs the deposits back, please just message me. Uh, if not, your deposits are all safe and um, they'll, it'll be pre, it's going to be rebooked in again. So uh, don't worry about that, my lovelies. Um, but yeah, so there is. Uh, are you reading? Are you reading message Michelle from him? making sure. No, I've just mess I messaged him. I know you did. Um, but, yeah, so uh, we can uh, try and get that uh, other one um, up and running, though, for Antwerp. But, again, she might be limited and only say uh, there can be 10 people that come um, because, again, you're still going to have to have that gap in between, uh, possibly still have to wear the masks. I don't know where my mask is. I could have shown you mine. It's on um, top up there. I'm not getting up. I know because it means you've got to get up and get it. Uh, but I bought a new one. I, I, if, oh no, because I've got it on my profile. Because my Facebook profile is personal uh, because it's all family on there and family photos and stuff. So unless you're lucky to get on there, uh, you'll not see it. But I've got my mask on, uh, old little. I didn't want to show Fletcher on. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> That's my mask with little in. Uh can't show his face though because uh, I ain't got daughter's permission. And um, yeah, so I covered him with my thumb. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's that coming up. Um, Saturday night, I'm not sure whether Simon's out with us or not um, because he's moved into flat. He's got a lot on going on in flat and everything else. So, so we're, 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 we're going to. No, heard from him today. So. No, no. Um, so we're going to play it by ear and see what's happening with Simon on Saturday. Uh, but we've definitely got some good locations coming up. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to come to Ashbourne when it reopens then. Uh, hopefully, Joanne. Um, I mean, Joanne, did you get tickets? Did you book onto this one? Um, there is some spare anyway. I'm not sure if there is any spare. There is. I'm sure there isn't, and I'll explain why afterwards, but I'm sure we've got bang on 14 people coming. Mm, mm, um, some people might not be able to make it on that day. Well, that's day. what I'm so yeah, so we'll see. Uh, it's a Saturday. He'll be cold. <laughs> He'll be, be out cold. cold. Yeah, probably. probably Steve, probably. Morning, yeah, my lovely. Creaky Tavern. Yeah, Creaky Tavern. Um, <laughs> It's a bit difficult with Creaky Tavern because evening Karen keeps getting um, boarded up. It keeps getting boarded up. And obviously we'll not remove any boards and Neither break into John. buildings. Neither no, John, John. don't. No, John don't. So we've got to wait while either kids go in or some kind of explorers. But then again, I don't think explorers would do it, take it off back. You know, so I think it's kids. So we do have to wait for kids to go in there. Get in the property, then we can get in afterwards. Um, but yeah, I mean, that creaky tavern's an interesting one. How uh, that door fell, 
uh, there was no explanation for that door. And that door was, if I do it that way, no, that way, that door, however it were, that door will lean lend. it, it will lend, and uh, to come down like that, that would just... Um, yeah, Joe, we yeah. can see, where have, we, have we missed a comment that we should have read out? Uh, your mask, that is. Uh, yes, do I can see your comments. Uh, didn't book this time, but I'll go in future if you go again after this current one. No worries, Joanne. I will have a look at ticket situation and uh, let you know my love life. Uh, and so I'm backing down and Tracy by side and I have three place under hat. They're not having. I don't understand that, Stephen. Uh, it? Yeah. I'm not backing down. So I'm far sure. away. I know Deborah, my lovely sure. lady. Yeah, uh, I just want yeah. to uh, send Deborah a load of prayers and uh, get well wishes um, because she has been oh, yeah, uh, she has been unwell. So if anybody would like to send her some either emojis of uh, prayers or hearts in the chat, uh, it'd be muchly appreciated. And uh, I'm sure Deborah does. Uh, if you have got to talk, John, John has got a few um, locations. He said uh, he was going to. He did. He did say he so, got. He got. So he got two. I, th I think there were two locations. Two or three. Um, and because a again, of seconds too, as well. Yeah. Then that he's going to take you because I can't get to them. Um, but yeah, it's um, we, we were honest with John when we first spoke yeah, we to are John. Too, Joanne. We don't want to take locate. We'd rather find the location John's go to. If we can find them without asking, then that's different. But I don't want to. Piggyback off John for locations because that's not what we're friends with John for. We're friends with John and Joe because we really like John and Joe, uh, Deno. Um, like Joe. <laughs> uh, Deno. No, I mean, like I'm John not really, well. I don't really know Pat, but um, I'm sure Pat's lovely. Uh, so, yeah, so it's like, um, yeah, so we don't want to do that. We've got more respect for ourselves shop, anyway. Well, it's so, amazing. Uh, but the shop, yeah, can't wait to go back in. Uh, like I said before, John said uh, something about he'd want us to go in back in every about six weeks or after they'd done new renovations took yeah. place or new stuff come in um, because obviously they're going in investigating. We were, we were talking to John about going in about once, then, once a month-ish. Yeah, and then obviously once they'll do investigation. Months. Then we'll go in afterwards and see whether we can get, or we'll go in and then they'll go in and see whether we can help validate each other's what we're getting. Because there's definitely activity uh, in that shop. Uh, but I'm not sure also if John said, though, after this whole lockdown was done, um, that it was going to rain because I saw him put some in Simon's chat. It was, um, it's going to rain. I think what he's going to do is he's going to do an investigation, invite other people to go on that investigation. Get, like, yeah. or, or have people attend, but it'll be not teams going in. To no, it's it just going like to be with John and team that yeah. we're Yeah, so I know. I think, yeah, I think that's what John meant. He were going to do is uh, they were going to go in as a team and invite people to come mm -hmm. to uh, join them and come along. Uh, he came in very gentle. Mom says he came to thank you for coming. His wife to say uh, goodbye. I said sorry, never got to meet you. Cheers, Stephen. Oh, we'll bless. That's lovely, life. Amy. That that happens, my lovely. Cheers, Stephen, my love. Uh, it's always good to investigate shortly after a renovation. It is because it's surprising, even just by decorating a place um, or stripping wallpaper off, putting, I don't carpets, decorate. <laughs> putting carpets down, everything. Um, it's surprising how something as little of that can disturb energies in your own. Yeah, so that's why we don't decorate. <laughs> Evening, Gillian, my lovely. Uh, but yeah, get... it's um, thanks, Michelle, my lovely. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's just crazy, isn't it? When it's crazy. It's crazy when locations do uh, that because of renovation. Um, but uh, yeah, so what have you got to say? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he has a go at me and picks on me while we're live, making making sure that I'm saying words correctly. And everything else, and then he just sits there and just doesn't say anything. Shh, Joanne, that's my, that's me, <laughs> that's me, Joanne. But I just say it's because we don't want to disturb energies. <laughs> Did you go to Curry Mile when you were in Russia? Is that to us, Julian? Have we ever been there? I have no idea where Russia is. No. Oh, oh, she might be talking to Samantha. Yeah. 
I think she's talking to Sam. Uh, I've been told the paper she's going in the bin because I don't stop. You know, too many people decorate. Uh, hoping to pass my test and then pop up there to go and go. Paul, you're welcome anytime, my lovely. Uh, just gives a We're buzz. still going to come down to that one near you anyway. We have, so we're, we'll have to get in touch with that one. Um, but we're looking at going down to where Stephen is. And uh, Stephen's about three and a half hours drive away from where we are. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, try and work that one out to uh, oh, we'll show in Manchester. join. Um, all right, um, to join uh, Stephen and uh, Rebecca. So I don't uh, know if you talked to us about when we went, went to, to Antwerp uh, Mansion. Is it yeah. close to there? I don't know. What's the next paranormal project build? What's your next uh, spirit box? Going to do, try and try and spirit, boxes, spirit boxes. Yeah, I've got some spirit boxes to build. All I've got to find is some cases and. I've got to buy some speakers and that's it. Oh. I've got everything else. What um, cases do you mean, though? Just like the plastic Yeah, a box. plastic box to put them in, right. like a project box or something. That's the I one, guys, to... Antwerp. Yes, we will be coming back down that way, I, uh, um, And I will have a curry. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just need to get some... Uh, I had, had a picture. Joe, I think you have to do it through Google. I'm not sure. Yeah, if you're on YouTube and you want to add a picture, do it through your Google account. So you have to go on to uh, edit we account. Are, we are, Rachel, yes. You have to go on to edit account, then it takes to your Google account. Yeah. I mean, Gillian, to be honest, Lancashire, that's where I've just found uh, quite a few uh, really interesting locations. Uh, but because we everything's still upsie downy, we uh, locked down and people are saying other places have been put back in lockdown even indiana it's like just crazy so at the minute we're just hanging fire aren't we um but we've definitely but them locations really do look good um so jillian if you're that way you can join us as well uh definitely have to join up one night with you guys because i know i've been live here for nearly 32 years and i've still not been in there much probably four or five times but only to pass through. That's 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 all right, my lovely. Um, about that, um, that one near him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's good. Can you message me when you book the ancient ram? We will. Uh, do we Amelia. will do Amelia at the minute. A lot of places aren't taking bookings at the minute. Um, they are still um, cautious with this lockdown. Um, that's where I live. PM me and say where and I'll say yeah or no. Oh, brilliant, Joe. Uh, Gillian, I will do my love life. Uh, I'll send you locations and uh, let you check them out. For, well, let yeah. you see if you can find it. History I mean, that's what I mean, Joe. We have to be red. careful at the minute. Uh, I mean, we have will got... they work if you put them in something different other than a regular box, like a spirit box version of a Ren Bear and maybe in like a toy car or small doll's house? Yeah, no, they would do, but they're more to carry about, aren't they? So you'd be carrying well, unless you're about. making one up just to... Um, Take into like locate like we do with SLS camera, just take it into certain locations. You could do that. I, mean, I could put it in a, uh, in a wooden box. It doesn't have to be a plastic soon. project box. I could put it in out. It will be shut down soon um, because. Uh, but it will more so much to, to be able to carry and hold because lockdown. obviously you're more old with spirit yeah, box. Thought I heard that, Joanne. Um, but yeah, pubs are going to uh, shut down again soon because uh, it's nobody's listening. I mean, pubs are supposed to be serving. Two pints per person, or something like that. I don't even, I don't, well, that would be for the open, weren't they? I don't even know if that's and the it's case. just a free for all. I mean, we were driving back from a location the other night. Uh, where they did we last go out? Spotforth, yeah, when we went to that Spotforth. And uh, as we were driving back home, uh, and it were early hours in the morning, weren't it? Because we didn't get back in while about half one. Mm -hmm. Um, as we were driving back home. Piss heads walking up and down the street, arm in arm, uh, carrying each other. And it were like, you know, so you can imagine what they're like in pubs. Um, and it, I mean, as much as you can say, will social distance in pubs, when alcohol's involved with anything, social distancing is out of that window yeah. as soon as you finish your first drink. Um, but I think it were too open, too, too soon to open pubs, yeah. Um, so get back on to paranormalish then. Um, have you got anything to say about any location or any of them videos that we watched last night? What were your favourite clip? Favourite clip? I don't know. I thought I didn't like them all, but I think the favourite one was that uh, one that Amy did for us. That one. 
because it so clearly says Emma three yeah. times. And then you actually come from the woods and name Emma. And then Spirit Box replies, who were that? Yeah, I mean... You know, that was just amazing. Amy's actually shared that. Uh, I couldn't get my words out then. I don't know Amy's if I can play actually it yet. shared that onto uh, the page. I'll try and play um, it. Yeah. For, for, most of you have heard it, um, I presume. But, um, if you can hear fan blowing in background, it's, I've got a fan on me trying to keep me awake. I think Boris only did it to prove a point that it wouldn't work in my eyes. I hope that's why he did it, to stop people from getting on at him, saying it should be open and everything else. Uh, evening, Vonnie. I hope you're well, my lovely. 50-50 uh, with the pub thing because I don't want to put my love. I do want to put my love in pub before it shuts down. Exactly, and I totally get it. Um, I wonder if... the whole clip on your back. Just bear with me because I'm going to try and... What are you going to try and do? Do you know, it's going to mess with computer and we might end up knocking you all off screen. We won't. We won't. Look, look, look. We're doing this. Look, look, doing... look, look. <gasps> See? Oh, crap, we out like this. Now I can't see my chit-chat. You can. <laughs> no. Evening, Sam. Hope you're well, my lovely. I've got the new tab up. Say, do you know? Well, I'm going to have to go off this a minute, so you're going to miss comments for a minute, but All we'll right. still be live. All right. We're having IR cam. Hang on. While he's pickling about, trying to do what he's doing, I'm going to have to use my phone, and I do apologise. Uh, let me make sure it sounds down. Oh, there we go. We're having an IR cam coder made, hopefully, ready soon, which will hopefully be good. That's good. Is that IR cam like ro what robots got? Or is yeah, it's IR infrared. It's infrared, yeah. Um, night vision. We've, got, we've actually got a camera, haven't we, that uh, does night vision, but yeah, we've got cam we code. need lights, don't we? Yeah, we, don't need, we, need, we, need, we need some IR lights. Yeah. But we can't, the thing is with them, they're what we're going to have to use on like pre-recorded. Uh, pre uh, we're not going to be able to use them, but we have got some places to go that are really good. And he's having separation anxiety. I, I am having separation anxiety, Amy, when he takes me off like this and I can't see anything. Um, <laughs> evening, Claire. Hope you're well, Jolie. Hello. Um, can't help it, mate. When I can't see chat, I panic. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it on here. See, just leave things alone. <laughs> But yeah, so we have got some good good locations to go to, but unfortunately, they are going to have to be done on a pre-record. Yeah. And the problem we've got going with pre-record is if some of the locations, again, it's the weather. Um, but I am going to look because I want to do a couple of daytime investigations and just see what we can catch in okay. daytime. Um, but I'm just going to try and wait while things get maybe a little bit back to normal with kids back at school um, because then you're not going to have as many kids out on fields or in places that we need to go and investigate. Mm -hmm. uh, we're good, Julie. Thank you, my lovely. I hope you are too. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I, I definitely want to try and do some daytime investigations. And, again, with Vortex, um because the vortex has anybody seen the pictures that we captured with the vortex of the oh, lady oh, 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 oh. let me see if i've got that on my phone while they're answering um but yeah on that vortex no i've took them off before oh yeah I see ya so it has been circled uh, and I'm not sure whether you'll see it clearly, but that one is a little girl that we cut. Now, when we do vortex, these are the things that we're looking for. Um, we know this. We know the smoke shows things, and the smoke you can pick your faces out of, uh, and everything else. But they're the ones that you're really, really looking for. Is the figures that you can see now we did check and there was no uh graffiti Joel has or just anything moved into a new house. um behind that one i will i will um, look but it might not be well next year it depends when funds allow um i know there's um infrared they are probably other companies that do it as well they are doing uh i think it's a samsung j5 phone and it's a night vision they've changed it to night vision and there's some program on it so you link it up to your phone 
so you stream it from this J5 to your phone and then to YouTube or something. So I'm going to look into that. Now, on that one, you can see a lady in the back. Um, there's also, just in front of her, there's a gentleman with a beard. And you can also see somebody else on that yeah, side. So, um, and that was when we were doing Vortex. That was when we were at Spothfus Castle. Be, and there was nothing in that sure. tunnel way. Um, again, there were no markings or anything. And Angela, that that's just really, um, that's what we're looking for when we do Vortex. Oh, the gathering. See it comes up. Evening, the gathering. Hope you're well, my beautiful lady. Or ladies, should I say. Um, but yeah, it's uh, evening, John. Hope you're well. Angela, hello. Um, but yeah, it does look like there's a family getting together or different people from different eras. Because when we were doing that vortex, I did ask them uh, if you could, if they can walk through vortex, we they can use that uh, light energy or whatever it is to see them. Um, and it's really interesting. Again, you can't. We we're not saying yet. Yeah, it definitely is, but it just. To me, they're, there's some, they're very interesting because you just can't seem to, especially when you see. I know, it as clear I've got as to that. Get, I know. Um, I think War Dog's got instead. one. Um, I know a few other people have. They've got a light that you can change the colours on. Um, that like on the cam on your, on your you know my uh, light. Yeah, I've seen change, a couple of teams use that. Yeah, uh, I think War Dog use it. I've seen. Yeah, it. I've seen it to yeah. red and green and blue. Um, so I might look at getting one of them, but I need link for it. Yeah, yeah. If anybody does like interesting stories, um, please uh, give the gathering a follow uh, or subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. I think they've got the groups on. Uh, not sure about Facebook, but definitely YouTube and gathering are a lovely bunch of ladies uh, that cover the uh, paranormal. Is it, um, on, is it on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, they cover the parent. I hope I'm getting this right, so please correct me if I'm wrong, any uh, any of you lovely ladies. Uh, but they cover the paranormal in a different angle to what we do. Um, I don't think they actually go out investigating, but they look into it uh, in a different way and uh, tell people's experiences uh, and things like that. And they are really, really a lovely uh, bunch of ladies. Um, so, yeah, John's just going to see if he can... Uh, we've followed him anyway on YouTube. Oh, we are. So I'm going to so, through subscriptions now. But, uh, yeah, um, two stories from us. That's it, the gathering. Uh, gathering do uh, true st the true haunting experiences uh, just of their own, uh, which is really interesting. I have been watching and um, supporting and enjoying. And I'll tell you something... Uh, I forgot what lady's voice. I do apologise because I ain't got used to your names yet. Um, but there's a lady's oh, voice that voice. comes on. Look at you. It's a ghost. Like it's a ghost. There's a, a voice behind us. Oh, um, look what you made me do now. But one at ladies, uh, the voice that I've heard anyway, uh, is so lovely to listen to. Uh, so clear and you can understand every word. Um, That's the link for the gathering. Oh, John shared link. So I think on it'll YouTube, I shared it on YouTube. We will, uh, I think it's been shared on Facebook groups anyway. Uh, oh, Michelle, hope you're all right, my lovely. Um, oh, bless you. Is it kidney stones, Michelle, you suffer with? Um, just take care and I hope you can get on top of it. Raven, that's it, the lovely Raven. Um, I've listen, listened to a few uh, with Raven's voice on and it's a really, really soothing voice to listen to. Um, so yeah, but please, please, uh, pop across, uh, because they are very interesting, uh, to, uh, their experiences and aspects with the paranormal. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, just, there we go. I'll put it on Facebook as well. Thank you. So it's on Facebook and YouTube for everybody to work. Uh, Take care, Joanne. Um, we'll see you Friday. Uh, it's been hell of a day. No worries, Joanne, my lovely. We shall see you Friday. Uh, nine o'clock, I think that's what we said. So, uh, we will be live round about the nine o'clock mark, uh, because we'll probably meet him about half past eight. Take care, my lovely. We're good, um, thanks, Wayne. We're good, Wayne. Thank you. I enjoyed thanks, your invest. Just subscribe to him. Thanks, Joanne, my lovely. I, uh, enjoyed your invest last night at the mill. She's a natural. It's a really good place. <laughs> uh, what's that? The mill. 
that Wayne went to last night. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, John watched that this morning. Well, last night. I, last night did you watch it? Night, yeah. um, I, will, I don't know what I were doing. Probably sleeping. I was probably sleeping. At the minute, I don't know what's wrong with me. All I want to do is sleep. Uh, yeah, 9 p.m. Lovely. Probably meet you about uh, quarter two, then Joanne, half eight, quarter to nine. Um, but I'll yeah, message you anyway, my lovely. can talk for England. <laughs> It's not just me that can talk. I love it some more post places down here. Red Lion Hotel has ghosts that walk the hallways. It's if we can get into them, Paul. Uh, if you know landlords or anything, uh, they might... Um, oh, you're welcome, Bewitch. Um, they might um, let us in, you know, uh, if you know them. Um, yeah, and I forgot to mention our lovely Bewitched, who's our moderator. She's also uh, within the group of the gathering as well. So, uh, like I said, great bunch of ladies. Uh, yeah, Mill. I'm, I'm saying Mill was amazing. I heard John listening to it, but How I wasn't watching. How much you to say that? What? That they're amazing. Because they are. They are a lovely bunch of amazing well, ladies. Kidding. They are amazing. Do I have permission to just punch or bitch slap him? No. <laughs> just <a little> <laughs> Hey, dear. Uh, listen to your body and right. I know, Joanne. I need to. I'm just. I just feel so tired at the minute. I feel drained. Um, but I go to bed about three o'clock in the morning, and then I'm up at seven, eight o'clock. I just can't get past. So I look like I've got. I'm carrying tea bags under my eyes. Um, but yeah, it's She's same. Thing. Sam, she's same. What? What Sam put? My missus talks for the world. She talks to her. I talk to anybody. <laughs> we could be in a room full of strangers and give me half an hour, an hour, I'll have spoke to nearly everybody in that room or I'll have le at least got chatting with uh, so many people that were sat near. What are you clock watching for? I'm not. Oh, I've you got a, a message. A message, yeah. Do you know? No, Lindsay, the only acceptable violence is the... Gibbs slap. I've not heard of that Gibbs slap. Oh, I've NCIS. Gibbs. Oh, Gibbs slap. Slaps from out back at head. Yeah. Now I know which one. Uh, yeah. You can't slap our Jones. <laughs> see? Hopefully uh, tomorrow yeah. night, Wayne. Oh, depending. I've got to try and find an indoor location for tomorrow watch. night. <laughs> I've got one to go and check yeah. out. The Indeed. love slap. <laughs> Thanks, Joe on my lovely when's next investigation. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh we've got a location to go and check out an indoor one. Um, so we're gonna get up early in the morning and go and have we a say that every morning. Yeah, we do. Uh but we're gonna get up early in the morning. Then Lindsay and keeps it awake well three, four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and then I get up and go back to sleep. Back Lindsay nine said to me about it gets one two o'clock and I'll say we're gonna bed. She'll say, Yeah. So we're getting better, she'll say, I'm not tired. I'm not tired, I'm not tired. And they're saying, I am. Yeah, but I'm not. So then yeah. I put YouTube on. Yeah, but on. I am. Put my YouTube on. And obviously, you've got to have sound up because you can't just watch a YouTube with no sound. So then I have my sound up. And uh, next minute, John will say, what are you watching? And I'll say, oh, I'm watching such and such or whatever. And next minute, I can feel him turn. And then he starts looking at that. Then I get tired. And then I'll say, I'm putting it down. And he's off into what I'm watching. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's I don't I've I've not been diagnosed with fibro, Paul. Uh, I'm like that before the lockdown. I was on a bus sitting top deck. I was like, oh, oh, my daughter said, "Quick, mom, you've, you've not told, told him yet." <laughs> oh dear, she's exactly the same. We first met. I thought she knew the people <laughs> she was talking to. I know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Paul, I've not been diagnosed well, well, with fibro. We used fibro. to have a caravan. Um, we used to have a caravan down in Cleethorpe. We did. Um, obviously, we used to eat show bar at night, and we sat there. And obviously, you couldn't smoke inside, so you used to have to go outside for a fag. And I say I go out for because because there were just us two, or us two. Well, we, we we were owners, weren't we? So we were owners, we so we just really. us two. Well, even if we had kids, with one of us would always stop inside show bar with kids or. If kids weren't there, we'd drink because, like, if you left table and we both went out for a fact, drinks had disappeared, they'd, they'd um, clear them up. So you said, I'll go out oh, for a fag. So I go out for a fag, what, five minutes, I'll be back. She'd go out for a fag. Half an hour later, she'd come back. I said, Where are you been? She went, I got talking. I'm like, <laughs> He's got him, but you can't have you some Monday. <laughs> you didn't rob him, my lovely lady. Oh, you're well. Um, Karen, sorry to hear that. I'm laughing here in a good way. That's good. <laughs> 
Yeah, dear. Shocking. But uh, yeah, I've got a rugging assessment then, and I forgot what I was to say. You've just like blown my mind. Hey, sunshine. Evening, sunshine. I hope you're well, my love. Um, but I forgot what I was going to say now. I, forgot, I really forgot, and it was it were interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> it's so interesting, and I, forgot, I don't know. Yeah. The, my brain's just like gone. Oh, fry bro, yeah. Uh, no, I've uh, got degenerative spine disorder. I I've got uh, later, yeah, because my uh, can I have a coffee? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no I've deep, got yeah. a degenerative spine disorder. I've got arthritis in both legs, but it's severe in my left foot my left my right ankle and my right knee um and then i have got sciatica going on and this side of my body on the left side uh keeps going numb so all my arm um starts going uh it's it's not numb because it's like a pain but you, i can't explain the pain um so that's what i have to so when i'm tired it's because i'm either not sleeping through the pain or it's the medication that I'm taking to stop the pain. Um, but unfortunately, you're never pain-free. And all those out there that uh, suffer with any kind of pain-related illness will know you're never actually free from pain. Um, but we can cope with it. We learn to uh, cope. Now, I've been like this for six years. So obviously, I've put steps into place. Um, you guys see me out and about. But to be honest, when I'm in house, I've got a red chair over there that's like a lazy boy chair uh, that uh, leans me backwards. And the reason I call it late my lazy boy chair is because John, John's my fridge. If I need a drink or a hot drink, John has to get up and get me them because that's what I have to do all day is I'm just sat down. I don't do anything uh, because my body won't let me. But obviously when I come on camera and when you see me out, um, I only show you my happy side. <laughs> not my uh, crying in pain agony side because that's not something that you guys want to see and it's definitely not something I'd want to show you guys so uh, yeah it's just it's just one of them but I will have a look into that uh, fibro because a few people have mentioned that it could be that so I will ask the doctors to uh, see if they can test me for that I don't know if there is a test for that uh, and I'm also menopausal so that doesn't help either um, because then I get my migraines and uh, they're killers. So yeah, that's that's my history. That that that's uh, yeah, that's me. So poor John, uh, severe nerve damage. Yeah, that's what I've got, Andy, from uh, bottom of my spine. All my jelly's gone uh, from. Uh, oh, I don't even know what you call it, but the bottom uh, the bottom bit uh, of your spine. All the jelly's gone. And what it's done is about from the size of my little finger that to my nail, um, it's pushed my nerve out, but it's pushed it out sideways and it's trapped it between the discs. Um, but because the discs are rubbing together every time I move, that's what's causing all the pain. And then I had to go back and have my MRI scan done uh, last year because of this numbness in my arm. Um, because I get my arm goes numb, but then I go through these phases where um, my hands will start shaking. And if I if I grab something, I think I've got it. I and mean, I've smashed so many glasses and cups because it's like my hand goes on an instant release, and I end up um, doing that. But the last MRI scan showed that my middle disc and my neck disc. Uh, is what's causing the numbness now coming down my left side. So, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, it is really painful, Andy. Yeah. Um, but it's just one of them things. Oh, you're all right, the gathering, my lovely. Um, it does. It just. It just goes. It just goes, Elizabeth, and I've got no control. Um, but it is. It. it it's it's bearable, but no, I will never I'll never come on here wish and I will never complain. Never complains on um I complain when I'm off. <laughs> uh but yeah, it's uh, got my next MRI at 23rd of July. I enjoy them. It's half an hour child free. Oh Joa, I don't. I uh, I'm claustrophobic, really, really bad. And when you go in, uh I don't like them. The first one I went in. It got a wall behind it. So as I went in, 
it was I could just see the wall and I was like really panicky. Um, so after that, uh, if you go to Hallamshire Hospital in Sheffield, they've actually got bigger ones. And John come with me uh, on my last one. On the on the ones I went to before, they wouldn't allow him in. Uh, but then on the last one we went to, because I'd not been to doctors, normally the doctor gives me a tablet to take to relax. Um, and I don't like taking them because they not me, make me drowsy. So I said to John, you're going to te- you're gonna have to come with me. And we got there and I got changed and I burst into tears as soon as we come out. As soon as I come out of changing rooms and this doctor store or whoever it is, is stood in front of me. And uh, I said, I don't want to go in. I says, I'm, I'm really, really scared uh, because I'm close. I don't like, I, do, I don't think it's the cost. I just don't like anything around my face. Um, and <laughs> he made John sign uh, all these uh, disclaimer. disclaimer forms um, so he could actually stay in the room with me while I had my MRI scan. Um, and just knowing that John was in that room because I was just scared I wouldn't get trapped in or whatever. I don't can't even explain that kind of fear. And I think unless you've had an MRI scan, it's difficult to know what these machines, especially like you said, Brad, with that noise um and it like bangs so it's as though something's like gonna collapse on you it's horrible uh but yeah john and man john stayed in with me uh, and had to sign his things so uh yeah john what would you like to happen when you have an if that's an interesting one Stephen. uh back of the phone like, so it's muscle relaxing is it not allowed him sam i've got uh, like limited to, to, to catch a full-bodied apparition without the aid of lasers or smoke or just catch you know what i mean just I, see cam, just see yeah. it yeah i think that'd be good yeah that's uh, what i'd like to happen but she's back phone's on charge i've just seen that's come up somewhere uh no damage my hands and arms uh because uh, yeah elizabeth it's so so painful um but yeah to work uh, for medication i've got a low tolerance to uh drugs in in general um general, <laughs> recreational, and, and recreational and prescription drugs uh, drug, drugs uh, drugs i have a very very low tolerance so they have to be careful a lot of medication that they put me on um i had really bad side effects to it on one of them i can't remember whether it was gabapentin or pregabalon and uh i couldn't even i thought my leg, i thought I'd, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't feel either of my legs and i couldn't stand up probably not at the time um, bewitched i wouldn't but when i watched it back what's I that said, would you believe your own eyes though do you know again do you know bewitch that's a good one because the thing is with that is like you said once he sees the apparition and he catches it that's still not going to be good enough proof no, it's, not. it's gonna still going to want to um catch something else i, I have that conversation of sitting and shaking hands and even then you'd still want more proof so i don't think you could i smell slush burning i love lavender uh, Don, I love it. Yes, Sam, it's been around. No, it's trying something. It needs you. Wow. Uh, it can totally relate to you. I mean, on my foot, and I had surgery to see if it went to the bone several times. I can't stand the claustrophobia. It gives me the headphones, but it does. No, it don't. I have to stay in there half hour. That's what I'm in for half an hour every time. And uh, yeah, it's not a comfy thing when you sat like <laughs> and your head's in a block, and then you've got another block coming down on top of your head. It's uh, not good. Uh, just like me, I can't even take two two twos. Not sure, Stephen. Exactly. You know, Robin, it's so bad when you when you like that because you're limited to not, the control. I'm not you. sure, Stephen. I have felt like something's touched me when I've been out on investigation. But, Bye, Tim. Um, it's one of them where. Did I walk through a cobweb or is it a, a, mm. a branch or a leaf that I've just brushed past or something like that? So I've never... Yeah, they are, Sam. Yeah, once mm. you've found something, you want to find more. It's true. You do. I don't think I don't think anybody in the paranormal world would um, would ever say that anything would be that, would ever be enough. Um, because you've even got people um, that have been doing it for a long time and i still can't i mean like tony 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 ferguson for one he's caught that much over the years of him doing it he decided to take a a break from it and then he's like you can't take a break from it this is the thing you can't you do it in other ways and shapes um 
and it's just it, it's just a mate it's just one of these fields i think that once you're in it and you that passion's in there and it's that strong it's something that you can never get out of um but yeah felt web effects on my legs and arms yeah yeah and you can't explain it can you robin you can't yeah you, you like john says especially if you're in a dark place you can't um see if it were a cobweb or it were a bit of whatever it was but that feeling isn't but in your head you know there were no cobweb there because you've walked through center room about eight times Welcome back, so yeah i'm waiting to go for my neck has got a lump but it's not oh that's good uh, they do, Robin, that's, that's good, my thing, i don't think it'll happen in our lifetime they do scientists need to definitely need to step up um but problem is with scientists even if they set up it's like what john said uh when we we were talking weren't we a couple of weeks back and uh, john was saying even say that said scientists have got proof that there is an afterlife that there is this peaceful place would they deny it continue because if people thought that there was somewhere else and it was better than where we are and we did meet up I've with loved ones this. that's what i'm saying um we did meet up with loved ones or um there were no pain anymore how many people would take their own lives just to get there so i don't think it's something that could ever be proved in a positive way and i and i'm not sure whether scientists would already know that this exists and this is why um they, they don't get involved in it because of the fear of what would happen um if, if they told people um because even to lose a loved one you want to you want to join them sometimes you you know you don't but you know that feeling that you have that you're missing something so you want to be with them um it's like if 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 they prove that afterlife were real everybody everybody go and join the loved ones mm. so i think that's one of the reasons why i don't know whether scientists would come in it's not my good point i'm pinching john's words here i'm just taking credit for it <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, i believe in the afterlife i say so from this day that my loved ones have become something like a bit exactly uh donna exactly Somebody we all have as uh, well, my beliefs, reaction be yeah. if i came face to face with something you can explain i don't know Knowing John, he'd walk past it and go, hey, mate. <laughs> Probably, I, don't, I don't think it'd phase him. It Evening, Dave. You hope you're well, my love life. Um, so relax, John, that it would take something really painful to happen. <laughs> but, uh, Evening, yeah, David. I think scientists mostly don't believe in the afterlife, the, like Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory. But it, it could be, you know, there could be so many different things out there. But we're not the first generation, and the generation before us aren't the first generations no. to start with paranormal. You, when you look into paranormal and how far it goes back, in every generation um, from beginning uh, people existing or whatever it is, there's always been people trying to connect to afterlife, which for me would mean that there is something because it can't just be that all these people have seen things and they can't all be debunked if you know what yeah. i mean um but yeah that that's uh yeah i mean that's a good point karen makes scientists would have to be very spiritual to do that as they yeah. basically work on black and white facts afterlife is a spiritual and very different vibe that. yeah i yeah i totally understand that karen um because it, yeah it is they are some had a weird black experience who were walking to shops Walking to the shops, and for a second, I thought I was my brother. I'm in Sheffield, he's in Whitby. It was very strange. Wow, that is a weird one. Um, so with utmost respect, but if science proved the afterlife and people were ending their life on this realm to join loved ones, the silver lining would be that it would help control the population. Do you know what, Steve? A good point there, Doc. Um, it would be, but again, would it go down to them beliefs of people? Because obviously, you're going to have those people that wouldn't believe it anyway um but it's, it's just such an interesting theory um yeah it's uh it's so it is isn't it it's uh it's yeah. just you just can't explain it my eldest keeps calling pigeon his granddad because it follows him if we walk through oh wow i think you've sent me uh pictures of that donna 
Uh, I think you sent me uh, a picture, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I know I've got a, 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 like a film clip and uh, it showed you at Pigeon. Um, if I talked about all my experience to my parents when I was a kid, it would have been a one-way ticket to the psychiatrist's office. Things have changed now where it's more acceptable. People are coming out of the closet now, thanks to all the evidence yeah. out there. Definitely agree, uh, Robin. I, I definitely do um, think that um, because it is more of an open subject now and people can talk about it without being ridding. Again, well, though, again, you do. You still do go rid your girl. You, you yeah, yeah. Some people that like you, what you're doing with paranormal investigators or ghost hunters or whatever you want to call us. I mean, my um, mum yeah. just laughs at me. I know she'll be watching this. She don't comment because when I say hello, she thinks everybody can see her. <laughs> That's because she's like me with technology. At the moment, uh, there is an energy camera yeah. on trial, so in the future we may see spirits. Problem at the moment is the camera is the size of a bus. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to see my loved ones and my pets that have passed on. But I do believe that one day we will, Brad, when, when uh, time comes through. That's my personal belief. I do believe whether we just connect with their energies again. Um, I did download it. But, yeah. Somebody mentioned it. When we were at Spothford, somebody mentioned that. Evening, John. Random or, random or Nautica, whatever it's called. Somebody mentioned that when we were at Spothford. So I did download it and have a look. But it didn't work for you, did it? Well, it really did work. Good? It just took me to the middle of a field that's about 20 minutes away. Yeah. Um, we haven't done it. I don't understand it. I'm going to try it. I've downloaded it. Because if people you say it, you can put in like uh, a search parameter, like holiday or like something. Well, I didn't get that. I just got anomalies, then something else, and then it just gave me a random place. It weren't. It didn't give me any yeah. like category to go for. So I don't know. But we will, we will get it a go. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I think it's just a gimmicky thing myself. That's true, Joe. What about if we are alive for one day? Think about it, man made. There is no break of day where it all stops. It's the body what has to rest and sleep. Rest, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it a try myself with my daughter. Yeah, look, I mean, like I said, uh, somebody asked me, and it was really too, so I shouldn't have really commented and said we've not we've not really tried it. But I did comment and I put, uh, not, not really our thing, it didn't work for us. Uh, really, I should have just put... Um, not not really we've not really checked in looked into it better but uh yeah, yeah. You you're meant to think off topic i you think did your John. Life, yeah How it's you, um did your life night with all the other? uh it went all right i mean something something must have kicked off after, just after we left about 10 minutes after because we left, we left and then apparently there were two other groups i can't remember what the ladies would call them i do apologize if any of them are on our live now I can't remember what the ladies' group were called, but they were Conjuring Souls. Conjuring Souls were the other group of lads that were there, or Conjuring Souls. Mark really nice that. Um, and uh, apparently, something, some, somebody turned up. Or the women got spooked by something, but somebody turned up according to them. But we just left, so I don't know. We didn't see anybody. I mean, we were still. We were on our members area on uh, YouTube. We actually got took members back to car wheels and then we actually drove well we'll we drove look, off with we'll uh, we'll um but yeah it were uh very strange because we put i put it back on to watch and all i heard were these women saying that they were scared um but yeah they were not we we i mean we were sat on top at field on outside and uh we saw nobody even when we walked off field uh, there was nobody there, so, so I don't know, I don't know what it happened. must have happened. We from us getting in car for PL, I think it was something like that. Yeah, for PS or PL. It or... weren't Pierre. It weren't. I, I don't. Yeah, I think it, I can't remember. Um, but it, yeah, it was so strange because we as we walked across that field and we saw nothing. And then as soon as we started driving off, I think we'd just come out at sit town that we were in. Mm. And uh, I flicked theirs on, and it just showed them all uh, that these women were scared. It was it were awful actually to see them because, I mean, there were four women. I think there were four women and one bloke. Mm -hmm. um, and for them to get that that scared when they're out on location, and apparently it's not the first time it had happened to them. Uh, well, it's happened know, yeah, on but other if locations. Other people have turned up, then you know what I mean. The, but uh, I think it's wrong if, if other people are turning up just to scare them. Scare them. Yeah, or that's that's uh, out of order. Spoil an investigation. Yeah, like them lads said, come and scare us because they, they they got it and all of them tried to try it with us as well. Yeah, I wish I wish in a way we hadn't gone because well we'd have seen them coming. Yeah, 
So, but we did, we could have unfortunately seen. we'd left. But uh, yeah, it was very strange one for him. But I enjoyed it. We're definitely going to go back there to uh, that Spofforth Castle. And then I'll tell you now, if ever you've got a few spare hours in daytime on a weekend uh, or even in week, have a drive up if you if you live if you live around there, there or live we in so many hours drive. Uh, have a drive up because it's such a fantastic place to go. Mm. Uh, and even if you've got kids, kids would enjoy it. You've got big field for them to play football on or do whatever. On a nice day, you could always have a picnic. But it, it, it's lovely. Uh, there is some tunnels there, but we can't get down to tunnels. Well, um, I probably could, but you? No, I can't get down to tunnels. And obviously, John won't leave me in a location on my own when there's just two of us for him to go and jump down walls and get into these tunnels. But there is some tunnels there that quite a few people have said that they've had things from tunnel. Um, I can't go and have missing comments. To be honest, we all love our mysteries as much as we want to solve them. We still need them, don't we? We do. Uh, we do. Uh, which, yes, there's many, many things that will never truly be answered. Too many. Lindsay, you give them what for. I would, Elizabeth. <laughs> I might, I might look, I might, um, I mean, I don't, obviously, I don't look frail and fragile, um, but I might be on my big red, my scooter, uh, and I might have to walk with sticks, but I don't take no shit either. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Um, the gathering, that's how boring world it would be if we had the answers for everything. It'd be a very boring world. It's same as a boring world if we all had the same opinions about things. Um well, because happy anniversary again, for next week. Oh, I thought we'll say happy anniversary on the day. Nine years. Wow. We've been together nine years, haven't we? How many? 90. <laughs> Feels like it. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, a pity both you couldn't come here to do a street. To do a street. What? Uh, a pity you couldn't come here. Oh, do you know, I don't fly. Uh, I've got a problem with uh, flying. So I don't go on a plane and I don't really go on a boat. Um, I don't mind on a canal boat, but going over the sea, no. I've watched too many uh, horror movies I now, would, I think. I would love to go to Australia. That's one place I would. Well, you've got family in Australia. And I know my mum's got uh, friends in Brisbane, I think it is. They work for... Uh, I don't know. I know they work for government. Um, two of them. I think we can go to Norfolk, Donna. Now I think we're allowed to Norfolk. Yeah, I think we can travel to Norfolk. I mean, Norfolk—that's where we used to keep boat until we sold it. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Norfolk's lovely, and we will be coming to Norfolk again. We love Norfolk um, because it's just yeah, it's uh, Monte Cristo homestead. Oh, Brisbane is. Is it Bri I don't know whether it is Brisbane. All I know is that these friends of my mom work for government and the area they live in, it's all uh, got like government officials and that live there. So I'm thinking, I I'm sure it began with B, so I could only think of Brisbane. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if that's it. But I will, I'll ask my mom where they work. But it's in Australia. And you need to miss um, St. Nicholas Church and Yard. Uh, you have to send us that one, uh, Joe. Just make sure if you have got locations, please send it because I forget them and then I forget where we've put them and then I forget which chat it's on. <laughs> Evening, Reese. Hope you're well, my love. Like, uh, going to daughter's Thursday. She lives in Thetford. Uh, you'll know where Thetford is. I don't know where Thetford is. Yeah. Um, we we'll we'll always go. We'll would go be fascinating. Near Thetford. Too, she would. You just go near um, Thetford, don't way down to Broads. I did, Wes, excuse me. I hope you didn't hear my belch then. It was horrible. Uh, sounds like Area 51 for Australia. <laughs> well, where all government officials live, I know. I know it's a nice, I know it's a really, um, a really nice area where they are. You do, um, you, that is quite true, Amy, that. That's okay, you have to, rapid response to. Things that turn up. Yeah. You have to be able to determine friend or foe, danger, safety, go to and tricks yeah. the homeless. I'd, but then again, I'd talk, to, I'd talk to somebody that were about to rob us. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, which, yep, uh, it's probably not much difference from his life on me. Definitely done, I think. We'd love to do we'll, a we'll be coming down that way. Road. Yeah. Oh, you will. You'll be fine with me. Uh, Leap Castle is brilliant. We'd want to come over to Ireland. Yes, definitely. 
Uh, we are going to make arrangements, but again, it's just making sure that this lockdown's and everything's all safe and everything. I come from Area 50. Oh, you come from Area 51. <laughs> Sorry, Reese. <laughs> uh but yeah it's um it's it, it's there's just so many places that we that we want to go and get to um aliens would scare me more aliens scare me more than paranormal to be honest brad i don't think i could uh go out and do an UFO. Alien, a ufo uh night because yeah, you wouldn't have to because if, if you were out ghost an alien could turn up well they it, could yeah. but then I'm not there for them, so they might leave me alone and I can continue with my ghost. Still talk to them. Actually, they'd send me back. Aliens would take me and they'd just send me back anyway. Um, I'd probably make them fly, crash the spaceship. <laughs> with aliens oh, kidnapped, dear. I'd move. <laughs> so they wouldn't know where to bring her back to. You twat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Lee Castle uh, would be uh, a, a good place to go. Um, but yeah, uh, where else? I don't know. There's loads, there's, loads there's of places. There it's, is. It's, it's like there is. Oh, infinite, that's but... another one I wanted to talk about. Oh, um, you know, I keep I forget where I am, and then I remember, and then I forget again, and then I, I then I forget. So I'm going to say it now before I forget. Like we, I heard on a when you're watching channels and you hear everybody talking. How does everybody feel when you hear people talking about the connections that we make? That how can somebody from the 1800s communicate with today's life? Come on, Steve. Uh, if that, if you know what I'm saying, um, or how would they know to pronounce the words how we pronounce them and everything else? Well, my little theory on that is. If they died in the 1800s or 1500s or 1400s, and our energy is never ending, the energy that we've got must learn. And over and when you're going through all these years and these times, does time and years stop and you just become a Sam, knowledge look, of everything? I'd love to do that, Sam. Do you know? Um, or do we just come when we, when we die? Do we just become a knowledge of everything? So you can travel back in time, forward in time, uh, wherever. So when we do get communication with spirits, that's, the ones where they would know our language. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Karen, do you know? Um, well, it's... according to you, you know everything anyway. I don't know everything, I know right. nothing. When do I tell you I know everything? All the time, when I'm all... arguing with yeah, you, I know everything, always right. I'm always right, yeah. But I don't know everything, everything, just when it comes to yeah, you. Just when it comes to me, I know, I know. You're wrong, it's I know. Are we trying to have a domestic? Yeah. <laughs> Drama cells. Drama cells, let's have a domestic. <laughs> no, I could argue with him. Well, I can, but no, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm uh, dear. I think that uh, is, as, but it will be in an old tunnel and never train. Um, we have been in an old tunnel yes, and we, we did, did hear a train. train. We had um, the train whistle. We did. Um, which one was that one? Was that one when, when we, we went we, uh, No, we, um, Joanne, when they went off. Yeah, but, uh, but that's not that screen, though, that come through, were it? No, we actually we heard, heard the train. train. Yeah. And we heard it at, at, at Turgland as yeah, well. Yeah, we did. Um good one to do compare notes when we meet on the other side yeah <laughs> you have to meet up with james <laughs> uh, john don't know what you mean men never win against their wives <laughs> exactly yeah, because wives know everything <laughs> we do um I think the 1900s would be a good time to communicate because that's the birthplace of electricity and all the stuff that we use nowadays. Mm -hmm. Almost so you guys need to contact someone. That's an interesting so, yeah. uh, um, thought, that the one. Don't um, worry, Rich. Don't forget to scrub your bits. <laughs> that's true. I mean, if, they, if they're there, if say somebody died in 1800s oh. and... Uh, they were constantly about, wouldn't they learn, like Amy said, they that's learn. What, that, yeah, course. that's what Karen was saying mm. earlier as well, um, that, and that's what I was trying to say. Mm. Wouldn't they have learned that communication? And even if, say we went, say we went to Spain, say we went to Spain or uh, Mexico, wherever, where they speak a different uh, language to what we mm. speak, 
if we were speaking to their spirits, like Barnsley, like Barnsley, <laughs> you're going to get lynched next time we go to Barnsley. Um, but every time, so when we when we go uh, to all these places, we get responses in English. Now, is that again? They're responding to us. They could, they might be able to speak multi languages. Mm. So we could ask in one language and they'll repeat. So it, it, it's just so all done squeaky clean. <laughs> uh, they evolve and progress as we progress. So even though they are the same person in theory, they're learning constantly and evolving. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I think, just think it's so interesting. It's only because you hear so many different views uh, from different investigators. Um, again, I don't, we don't mention teams that we. Elder um, not talking are. about us. I love listening to the elderly talking about what they did. <laughs> oh, that's, not, oh, that's not referring to us, don't, uh, Donna. The spirit would know that a flashlight. Mr. Oh, Brad's just, just gone down. Uh, our souls, by the take, yep, and things we have already learnt whilst in human form. So, yeah, uh, the spirit would know what a flashlight is because they had flashlights. And if you said turn on the lights, they would know how because they had lamps back then. Donna's, exactly, Donna's Donna. talking about us, <laughs> not aimed at you both. <laughs> oh, Donna, I love you. <laughs> Uh, that's why past lives exist too, as whatever we were in the past lives, the languages are the same. That's why I can pick up and sense things because spirit are on so many different dimensions. Exactly. Exactly, Karen. Uh, but I just find it so interesting. Um, and it's like us. Uh, I mean, when, we, when we've come into actually starting up and going on ghost hunts itself and doing what we're doing, there's a lot of things available to us, like uh, the apps that we that we use, um, uh, more ele is it electronics, yeah. more like electronic things gadgety that are around, thing. like gadgety things that are around now that weren't around back in like seven sixties. But well, before eighties, none of these gadgets would have been around for people to use. Um, do you think? Uh, well, they're all, I know an they're EVP all based, recorder. Would. Well, I mean, like your MPod, you, they, they're based on a theremin, so they'd have been yeah. about you know, I'm I mean, on about like apps, I'm talking yeah, about apps. apps and stuff, things that wouldn't have been around back then. But you hear these investigators talking, and they'll say, Well, we do it old school, um, we prefer to do it. But when they first started, they didn't have this, so they had to learn how to do things their way. Um, and they did use things to more probably more objects, uh, but as times changed, the the way you can interact is changing too. So to me, the old style and the new style of ghost hunting, if that's what people are going to class it as, um, to me, I think the two actually work well together. Mm -hmm. So by doing the older ways and the newer ways i think that's a lot better um well not a lot better but it works for us uh to that's, do it that that's, way that's true if you have apps with english words and go to spain if you get a spanish response that would be cool it would sam do you know that that would be really interesting that um but again on summer apps when the places where like you've been mm -hmm. uh where germans are known to have been we were getting, well, you were getting stuff coming through German. and German. I'm not sure if that runs, um, I can't remember if that runs Spirit Box or, but still, on Spirit it don't, Box. It doesn't make no difference. Whatever it's coming through, mm. it were replying in German. Luckily, we got a lady from Germany in our chat at that time and she was actually translating what it was saying. And uh, we got other people in chat telling us, to, telling you to say things in German and see if we could, and we were actually getting responses. And it was it, it was just so interesting. My Germany to do, very good. You what? My Germany very good though. No, I know. I can't do German. Got a Morgan. That's good morning. <laughs> Got a Morgan. There is Ronnie. I, we used that on. Uh, I used it on a few. We went to that prisoner of war camp. Yeah. And I had it on Google, and but you can also like type in in English. It gives you German translation. If you hit a button, it'll actually say it on your phone as well, so you haven't even got to. Uh, You've not even got to try and shout, try and shout it out. It. Yeah. Phone will say it. Better not go abroad and try and speak their language. 
<laughs> Donna, I can't. I have trouble with, with English language. Uh, never mind trying to uh, speak others. Lindsay doesn't um, speak English. She speaks Yorkshire. <laughs> I don't speak. I don't think I'm that Yorkshire. Come on, am I really that Yorkshire? I don't think I am. I think I'm posh Yorkshire. Posh Yorkshire. I'm posh Yorkshire. I don't sound like a Yorkshire. I'm not broad Yorkshire. If a person died in the 60s and knew how to turn on a record player, do you think a ghost would know how to turn on a downloadable file? I think you I think you might be a product of your time. Maybe unless what you two are saying is you might get all the knowledge when you pass. Exactly, Brad. It's one of them, isn't it? It's such a don't we're even never tell gonna get posh answers. Yorkshire. I am, I'm a posh Yorkshire. <laughs> You I'm told you are Yorkshire. posh. You are very Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm not that Yorkshire, honestly, Amy. You are still um, Yorkshire to my ear. <laughs> I don't think I am. Uh, I have enough trouble sometimes with foreigners from over there. <laughs> yes, Yorkshire, lol, but not Barnsley. Yeah, I, no, I haven't got Barnsley twang. Sheffield girl through and through. Uh, I went to an old be building yesterday and a ball got chucked up by me and I asked the spirit to turn the light on and it did. I have never jumped so much. That's, do you know, Reese? I hope you managed to try and catch Ooh, some of that. That would be good. There, <laughs> uh, did you manage to catch any of that, Reese? Or was it before you filmed or weren't you, were you just exploring and uh, not filming? Uh, touch your bonds, like. <laughs> Essex girl. Is that you, Donna? An Essex girl. And see what Reese puts because that's right. You're interesting. On Facebook, that. You might as well talk for 20 seconds. Oh, yeah, because Reese it takes a while, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, I'm not Barnsley. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd love to go to Essex. I'd love to go down to. I'd, I'd, do you know where I'd like to travel? I'd like to try and travel to top of Scotland. Norfolk. All the way down coastal Norfolk, lines, yeah, right Norfolk. to very bottom, and then all the way back up other side, and then like finish back off uh, up in Scotland. Um, if I moved anywhere, I if, I, if I had to move anywhere in the UK, it would be Norfolk. I know, we've said that, haven't we? No. But it went Norfolk Broads, around mm. that area. Some nice villages. Some little villages. Yeah. Again, you're posh. <laughs> no. Actually, I'd either like to live on a boat. But it'd have to be a big flat bottom boat, like one of them, uh, is it D30s or something like that? DC30. DC30. Uh, on one of them, I'd live, or I'd, I'd live in a caravan. Um, me, I'd like to live in a caravan, but a movable I love, one. I love Joe. I love one of them Yama. movable ones. Regent um, Road's my Scotland, favourite. Yeah. Regent Road's my favourite. I was good when that Chinese you know, shop shut down. I've never been to Scotland and I've only been to Wales twice. Uh, n n where, where did we used to go on holiday when we were little? Near Cornwall, Devon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I didn't go with you. I went little with you. I've never been to Cornwall. No, I know, but I thought you said it was where my mum said that we'd been or we're talking to. I might not have been talking to. I might be talking to Jordan. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but I've not been, not really travelled round UK, and that's what uh, I said to John. That's what I right want to do is just travel round the UK uh, because there's so many beautiful spots around the UK that you pay all that money to go abroad, but yet the UK we've got some really nice beaches and uh, places where the weather is just as hot as what it is uh, abroad. So it's. Yeah, I think I want to get UK under my belt. But I do want to go and uh, have a camp at side at Loch Ness. I would do a night looking for Loch Ness. It would be up for doing a night looking for Loch, Loch Ness. Um, for Nessie. See if we can sight the Loch Ness monster. I don't even know if you can camp on Loch Ness. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll have cabins or something. Uh, Johnny's not in chat, is there? Have we got anybody else from Scotland in chat who knows whether they've got cabins um or campsites or anything um round where Loch Ness is uh been on the east coast a lot yeah weather doesn't bother me only bothers me Vonnie when it's raining um really um I used to love being because obviously we, when I'm sat on big red if it's raining I don't I can't dry off I used to love being in caravan when it was raining mm, mm. we used to have a static caravan for a wood 
that were amazing with metal roof yeah really. but i'd go back and live in a caravan i think a caravan's a nice place to live what was that program we've just been watching uh which one is dark materials or something it's take off from Golden Compass film. Oh, yeah, that's good. And they call them Egyptians. Hey, Scott. They all live on boats. I want to be Egyptian. Not yeah. Egyptian. Egyptian. E Egyptian. Is that what they call them on boats? Yeah. I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have, Sam. Uh, we've got some of the most beautiful scenery here in the UK. We have James, but you know, it's finding it. Yeah, Nessie would be good. Uh, Snowdonia, that's supposed to be a really lovely place. Uh, one time was staying. I was not far from where I lived there. Yeah, Snowdonia is supposed to be lovely, but I'm not sure whether Snowdonia is hilly, so I have to be careful. We just need uh, a bigger one than a VW camper. We were looking at more. Can you imagine me and John in a VW camper? Come on. <laughs> There's enough room in there for just me. <laughs> the campers are rocking. Oh, put, put tents up near the lock at Crowley's Bar Burn, Burn Down Foundation. Oh, that's an interesting one, Bill. Um, we'll have a look at that. Oh, we've got ten, haven't we? Um, no, about three. Well, we have. But, yeah, we had to buy a big bivvy for when we went uh, fishing because we used to go do a lot of night fishing, and uh, we need to get back into that. Really, take you guys on a night fishing uh, a night fishing event night. Um, but yeah, we used to do nights, so we've got this big massive bivvy because I can't have a little one because I need to be able to just stand up and not crawl in and out of. Um, Thanks, we Nigel. had to buy this big thing. Um, evening, Nigel. Hope you're well, my lovely. Uh, we had to buy this big bivvy, um, so we've got that to. Uh, well, what I was out. looking at, Steve, was at a large about. Red to be like, yeah, that'd be a good. Bus. Steve. Uh, a single decker bus, and, and I could have a garage on statics. back of it. In back bit could be a garage where I could keep scooter and my <laughs> motorbike. Oh, Tom John, yep. Uh, yo, head into oh, drum and rocket, rocket, no, drum and drum and drap, drum and racket. That's what I just said. You went, no, <laughs> and there's a campsite near the log. Oh, mm. wow, Scotty, thank you, my lovely. Uh, definitely look into that one. Um, I'm gonna hopefully try though and go later in the year when it's when summer's ended because I, I, I know midges are everywhere so your best time actually uh, is like october september into september october time um An investigation of bullskin house where crowley used to live would be amazing jimmy page from led zeppelin lived there as well that would wow. be amazing and where's that is that up in scotland then i have no idea oh well you have to put that into your phone and uh, just have a look and then we've got it saved uh i've been night fishing when i was pregnant went with my eldest i wasn't allowed to be left on my own trying to get out of the only size ed oh my god it was like i can imagine <laughs> i've seen myself doing it um i'm going oh it's Loch Ness, oh, it's Loch Ness. Mm. oh we'll have to see if we can get access yep scotland uh love to go fishing scott did scott's dad for him yeah uh james yes that would be neat yep scotland yep yeah, love this oh that's right good um so i'm gonna have a look and see because uh camping might be better than um because you not don't really mix when you're camping you'll just have to buy me an outdoor shower i've got a toilet i have me I have, i've got me i've got me on throne uh but i need a shower <laughs> You I do. don't like using. You do need a shower. I don't like using public toilets, and I don't like using mixed showers. So I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm a right funny, fickly person, aren't I? Really, I'm a pain in ass. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but yeah, the mumbles in Wales is stunning. We'll have to have a look at that one. When I went in a building, my phone was on hundred percent. Then the ball got choked. I went and got my phone. Wow, Reese. To well, if ever you go bit. back, uh, if ever you go back there and you fancy anybody joining you, um, as long as it's in UK and not too far, uh, you have to give us a shout, Reese, and uh, baby love wipes to come and with a potty. You. Baby wipes and a potty. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, but yeah, for midges, the West just need a sheet in a plastic bag with holes in it. <laughs> it's true that 
Uh, Loch Ness isn't too bad for the midges. The West Coast is bad for them. I'd personally recommend the Loch Cruise and have a look at Court Castle on the shore of Loch Ness. Oh, wow. Oh, you've de we've definitely got to have a look at that and uh, see when yeah, it's open. Mid Wales is Post Castle. Well, we're actually in Wales next month, August. Um, August. We're actually in Wales then. Um, Hopefully. I can't say where we're going, um, but I can say we are meeting up with Trish from, from Fearless, Fearless Afterlife, Afterlife um, and, a few, and a few other teams. So it's going to be quite a biggish event, but we're all going to be off doing his own things, um, and everybody's aware to try as little as possible not to contaminate everybody's uh, evidence. Uh, but it looks absolutely uh, stunning where we're going. So, uh, yeah, we will be down go in Wales that Gower way. Coast. Uh, go to the Gower Coast. Um, Bonnie, just message it, me ducks. I don't forget that one. Just put uh, a hole pull in a plastic, plastic chair, chair, John, and place a bucket under it. Personal portaloo. <laughs> I've got a portaloo. I'm okay We've for portaloo. I need a shower. Yeah. I, that's what I do. <laughs> I need a shower. That's what I need. Uh, and it's got to have hot water. I don't like. I don't want these cold water showers. It's got to have some kind of um, thing on it so I can have hot water or, or lukewarm, lukewarm. I can't have cold showers. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll tell you when life's finished. What? Well, <laughs> no, I'm not having a golden shower. That's. I'm not having one of them. <laughs> not peeing on top of me from a tree. Uh, John, you could just host pipe. <laughs> he wouldn't dare. <laughs> and don't give him ideas, please, Sam. <laughs> oh dear. I, Boil kettle of, I know. Uh, plastic bottle, pl pierce hole in it, and use that for a shower. Couldn't do actually. You could actually. Or I could use an hot water bottle and just get John to wear uh, oh, a hot water bottle up above my head. It'd have to be a big fuck off. Oh, it'd have to be a big water bottle um, to use. I'm sure they'd love it for having a shower <laughs> on the banks a lot mess. <laughs> Using a hot water bottle or a plastic bottle, we'll get arrested. Oh, dear me. Right, guys. Uh, we are going to love you and leave you now. Um, I hope you've had a great night with us tonight. Yeah, hopefully, and... we will have an investigation tomorrow night. Yeah. Weather. And oh, location. well, there's a couple of locations that, that we can go to tomorrow, even if it's raining, yeah. uh, to get under. So that's not a major issue. It depends on how fast and heavy it's raining. Yeah. Uh, but it will either be uh, Rob just walked in and heard Lindsay talk of golden showers. <laughs> what oh, you are yeah. on. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so tomorrow night, what, what I'll say then is. If we're not live on our outside uh, location, I will do tarot's tomorrow, and we'll be on location on Thursday. Um, yeah, they send it lock. Or either way, because Friday we're definitely out. Uh, thank you for being a really interesting, lovely evening. Oh, bless you, Rach. Bless you, Scotty. Uh, get this send it lock. <laughs> I'll bubble lock up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right, my lovelies. Take care, sweet dreams. Have yeah. a great day wherever you are, and uh, speak to you all yeah, soon. We shall see you soon. Take care, Much good love. night, and God bless, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>